We had never had a really, never lost a job, never had any real illnesses, never really had any real financial concerns, just kind of went along. Things happened, things happened well. Uh, didn't, lo didn't lose a child. We had friends who had all those th things happen to them. And how lucky we were, and I'd always tell Mary Kay, one of these days, something's gonna happen. In 2005, I went in for just a routine annual physical. A few days later, the doctor called. Uh, he calls me and Mary Kay and I in one day and says, you've got cancer. Well, uh, I've never heard those words, but when you hear those words, you've got cancer, your world changes. And I'll admit, when, it, when I heard those words, I thought my first reaction was, you know, why me? I mean, you know, I've done all, I've taught this class all these years, I've really served this church, and why would, it, why would I get chosen for this problem? Well, and that's when grace began to really, really show, show itself. Because that attitude lasted about 35 seconds maybe, and then I said, why not me? I've got a prayer support team of friends, that wonderful friends who will pray for us, and I serve a mighty God. And so let's just, let's just take the steps and let's see what we have to do to get, to get this beat back. So what that taught me, the whole experience taught me that I am not in charge. And until that time, I'm kind of a type A guy and kind of do what I want to do and I've always kind of figured things out. But when you, when you hear those words, you can't do that yourself. You have to depend upon God's grace. Continue to lean on God because once you learn that it's not about you and you're not in charge, it just becomes easier to say, okay, that's it. Somebody else is in charge and I'm gonna do what, do what I'm told to do.